Evening, and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Tracy Hutchins. Our other big story tonight at five is the coronavirus. New numbers from the State Department of Health reveal Georgia has 197,000 948 confirmed cases, according to COVID-19 trackers with Johns Hopkins University. That is more than the entire country of Canada. Georgia also dealing with more than 3,900 virus-related deaths. The numbers released on a day when more Metro Atlanta schools are now resuming classes. Those in the city of Atlanta include Drew Charter School and Wesley International Academy. Both schools are offering virtual learning. Meanwhile, health officials pushing for all schools to go virtual, and they're responding after seeing video of unmasked children posing for pictures on their first day of school. Well, CBS 46's Brittany Edney is live tonight outside of Sequoia High School with a reaction from people whose job it is to keep all of us safe, especially our students from the coronavirus. Brittany? Well, you know, Tracy, one of the big angles we've been covering lately is whether or not students should go back into the classroom, right? Well, recently some did, and there's a lot of safety concerns that are coming out about some of the things specifically that have been happening on school grounds. Dozens of students huddled together for this back to school photo posted on Sequoia High School's Instagram page. Well, it took off, got a lot of negative feedback and has since been deleted. A similar pic, this time outside of Etowah High School in Woodstock, also has teens bunched together on a school sidewalk with no face coverings in sight. Then you've got this one coming out of Paulding County. Students crammed into a hallway backpack to backpack with many not wearing masks. That is concerning, and this is actually probably my biggest worry, is the behavioral aspect. Health experts say while there's speculation that younger kids may have a lower transmission rate, that doesn't mean it won't happen, and high school students are in a different group. But for older kids and teenagers, it really does appear that they can be just as contagious and just as likely to transmit. And there have been some good examples of that, including the summer camp that was right here in Georgia, where about three quarters of the kids and the staff all tested positive after working, playing, living in close quarters. And at an age where compliance can be an issue. It does probably just have to be some insistence. And this is hard because teachers are already policing a number of things while they try to teach. But there probably does have to be a sense of you are not coming in my classroom if you do not have a mask on. Because that's what's safe for you, that's safe, what's safe for your classmates, and that's what protects the teacher. And Dr. Sexton, Sexton adds that, you know, if there is a really big breakout at a school, the first thing that school officials need to do is a quick and thorough investigation. And that's because they need to identify the source, figure out how widespread it is, and address it. Reporting live in Cherokee County, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News. Brittany